Hey, welcome back to Reclaiming Our Personal Power. Hey, everybody. We're glad you're continuing on this journey. If this is the first one you've ever done, that's fine. You can just go back and do numbers one through eight whenever you get a chance. I'll go ahead and put up our statement. Statement number nine. All right. I now accept my divine inheritance of peace, prosperity, and unconditional love. We're going to do, be doing a breathing exercise. Pranayama. So prana is just the word for the life force energy that animates our bodies. And yama means exercise. So prana is the, the substance of that life force energy that we can breathe in through the air. It also exists in sunlight and other places in nature. But the word pranayama just means a breathing exercise. So I'll just describe it for you first and then we'll do it together. So the way we're going to be doing this one is you don't have to say the statement. We'll say it at the beginning, but you don't have to say it while we're trying to do the breathing. So don't worry about that. But basically what we're going to do is inhale that divine inheritance of unconditional love. And then we're going to hold the breath for just a minute to kind of assimilate, integrate that energy of unconditional love. Then we're going to exhale, and that intention is expanding that energy of unconditional love, expanding the, our divine inheritance, and then hold the breath out. And that's the, the intention for that is projecting that outward, sharing that out with the world. So it's just basically an inhale. Not, and, and if you want to put your hands on your belly so you can really make sure to be inhaling fully down into the belly, feel the belly expand, and then hold for just a moment while we assimilate. Then exhale, and that intention is expanding the energy of unconditional love. And then hold the breath once you've exhaled. Hold it just for a moment. And the intention there is to project it outward. We're just going to do this seven times. So when you're doing it at home, you can do it just seven times. But if you want to do it multiples of seven, if you want to do a little bit longer practice, it's a really powerful practice. But in, in order to do this limit clearing process, you just have to do it seven times. So sitting in whatever way is comfortable for you. We'll close our eyes. And I'll say the statement out loud a few times, and you can say it silently to yourself, and then we'll start the breathing. <sighs> so the statement is, I now accept my divine inheritance of peace, prosperity, and unconditional love. So just breathing normally as you say this silently to yourself. I now accept my divine inheritance of peace, prosperity, and unconditional love. And we'll just say it together one more time. You say it silently. I now accept my divine inheritance of peace, prosperity, and unconditional love. And so now just beginning the exercise, I'm going to inhale fully. And then hold the breath for just a moment to assimilate and integrate. Feel that happening in your body. And then exhale and expand that energy of unconditional love. And once the exhale is finished, hold it, projecting it outward into the world, sharing it with the world. And when you're ready, take your next deep breath, inhaling that energy of unconditional love. Hold the breath as you assimilate. Feel it assimilating into your body. And then exhale, expanding. You can use your visualization to expand that energy and then hold the breath out as you project this energy outward. And now inhaling that energy of unconditional love. Hold the breath as it assimilates into your body. 
Then exhale and expand. Let it grow. And hold the breath outward just for a moment as you project it. A good kind of projection. Inhaling that energy of unconditional love. Hold the breath as you assimilate it into your body. Exhale and allow it to expand. And then just hold the breath for just a moment, intending to project that energy outward, sharing it with the world. Inhaling your divine inheritance of unconditional love. Holding for just a moment as it assimilates into the body. Really soak it in. And then exhale and expand. Oh. Hold the breath out for just a moment and just send it outward into the world. Two more times, inhaling that energy of unconditional love that is your divine birthright. Hold for a moment, allow it to assimilate and absorb into the body, into the, all of the bodies, the physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. Exhale as you let the energy expand. And then hold it out for just a moment, projecting it and sharing it into the world around you. One more time, inhaling fully a divine energy of unconditional love. Hold for just a moment, feel it assimilate. Exhale and expand. Let it grow and grow and grow as you exhale. And then just hold the breath for a moment as you send it out into the world. So now just allow your breathing to return back to normal. Keep your eyes closed and we'll say the statement a few times silently. I'll say it out loud while you say it silently. <coughs> I now accept my divine inheritance of peace, prosperity, and unconditional love. So just breathing normally. Say it a couple more times silently. I now accept my divine inheritance of peace, prosperity, and unconditional love. One more time. I now accept my divine inheritance of peace, prosperity, and unconditional love. So take your time. Coming back into this, into this room, into this moment. Anything you want to share from that one? I was just kind of in a deep meditative state. Yeah, this breathing pattern can really put you there quickly. So you can use this, this exercise anytime. If you're having a hard time getting focused into meditation, this is a good... And I and I couldn't stay on the same rate as you. Like I couldn't hold my uh, breath as long as you said. You're like, take a deep breath. And I saw deep, deep breath and then you're talking so slowly. Like I couldn't <laughs> hold my breath that long. Yeah, and like, that's okay if you can't go at my pace. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> and sometimes it's easier to, to kind of learn it on the video and then do it on your own at your own pace. You know, once you kind of get it with the video, then, you know, do it on your own. Brandy? Um, whenever I try to do breathing exercises, I all of a sudden always have to yawn. Like I always start having to yawn. That's a good sign. So that 
that shows us that we're getting into the parasympathetic nervous system when you're yawning. Anytime we're doing these, any of these balances, some, some people will yawn every single balance we do. Some people just yawn randomly at different ones, but it's a good sign. It's a sign that we're getting into the subconscious, that we're getting into that parasympathetic nervous system. And so, so yes, it's, I'm, now I'm feeling like I need to yawn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is contagious, but yes, it is, it is absolutely a good sign when the yawn is like a release of energy. Sometimes I think when we yawn, when we're tired, it's not so much about being tired as it is trying to, that's like that energy moving, trying to keep us awake, <laughs> right? Is what the yawn's purpose is sometimes. So, so yeah, that is a very common response and, and a good sign that we're, we're getting down deep. Anybody else have anything that they want to share or questions that, you know, like, like Peter said, I couldn't keep up with you. I don't know what to do, you know, so, so just learn it with the video and then do it on your own if it's, if the pace is not comfortable. I am just so sleepy now. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a very relaxing one too. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, we talked about, I think it was last time we talked about, you know, sometimes we can have different reactions to these balances and, and the sleepy reaction is a common one too. And so that's a time that you can listen to your body and hopefully you can, you know, take a little rest or, or schedule some time for, you know, some extra rest later today. So good. Thanks for sharing that one. Anything you want to add, love? I also had that experience. I was ready to go to sleep and um, it's very different than most other meditative breathing because I, I often, you know, follow the breath and, and use mindful breathing and like it's calming, but this was a different state. So it was very interesting. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I haven't been in there before. Yeah. And the holding of the breath has, you know, certain qualities and certain effects on our energy. So that, you know, there's lots of different pranayama exercises, but, the ones where we hold the breath have a, a special effect on the energy that is a little bit different than just, you know, kind of some deep breathing or ujjayi breathing or some of the other ones that we do. So it's good to change it up and, and try different ones so that we can, you know, notice how it affects our energy and then, and then utilize those different breathing exercises at different times. Do you have something you want no. to say? Okay. All right. So yes, Brandy. Is this one we should like celebrate after two or not? Yes, and I was just about to say, that's what I was going to say, is we need to celebrate this. Um, even though it was kind of more calming, we want, to, we want to bring that energy, that joyful energy of celebration, because, you know, that's a big one, accepting our divine inheritance. We, we're a lot of times pretty resistant to that, you know, to accepting that fully. So, hooray, hooray for fully accepting our divine inheritance. Yes. Bravo. <laughs> I love y'all's happy dances. So we will just go ahead and say goodbye to our replay friends and look forward to seeing y'all next time. Fare thee well. <laughs>